How's it going, guys? We have a passable question for gastro for step one, family medicine 2CK. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give me a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, mehl man underscore medical. Links down below. I mean, Telegram links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. Six year old boy, six month history, bloating following meals. A light micrograph is shown where we have flattening of the intestinal villi. Very buzzy, pass level histo for celiac disease. Okay. So insensitivity to gliadin slash gluten. Wheat, oats, rye, barley. It's a mixed T cell response, also antibody response. So, uh, anti endomycel, same thing as anti gliadin, anti tissue transglutaminase, IgA. So, in contrast, lactose intolerance, aka lactase deficiency, you're going to have a normal biopsy. Okay, it's just deficiency of disaccharidase to the brush border. Let's just whip through the answer choices. If untreated, which the following is most likely to develop in this patient? Choice A, calcium oxalate, urolithiasis, wrong fucking answer. First, a Crohn disease, uh, mouth to anus, classically terminal ileum, which is where B12 with intrinsic factor as well as bile salts are absorbed. So bile salts, if you can't absorb them, terminal ileum, decreased enteropathic circulation, decreased bile salts in bile back up top in the duodenum means decreased fat absorption, which means increased fat within the small bowel lumen to bind calcium less calcium available to bind oxalate, increase oxalate absorption. So you can get calcium oxalate, urothiasis, and Crohn's disease. They asked that actually in the 2CKIM form, interestingly enough. They want to know, they want decreased enteropathic circulation of bile salts as the answer for why you get steatorrhea and Crohn and also the urolithiasis. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, decreased mean red cell mass, correct answer. So you need to know that in celiac disease, Iron deficiency anemia, exceedingly high yield. Okay, so flattening of the villi, classically in the duodenum where iron and copper are absorbed. So decreased MCV, decreased hemoglobin. Okay, so iron deficiency anemia. And not only do I harp on this as exceedingly high yield in an absolute sense, but when you get questions on uh, peds 2CK in particular that are more vague slash difficult and you're like hmm I don't know is this lactose intolerance celiac disease so when we have that relative uh, that comparison between those two conditions sometimes you'll just see right in the middle of the paragraph you'll be like boom hemoglobin's low or boom MCV low and you know right away that that's celiac disease so that is an exceedingly high yield detail I want you to know uh, to contrast these where iron deficiency anemia is as seen in celiac disease, okay? So decrease MTV, decrease mean corpuscular volume slash red cell mass. I've seen students actually miss this uh, on questions before where they say, oh, I didn't realize that referred to decreased MTV, okay? So real quick, just hop through. Choice C lymphoma, wrong fucking answer. Some of you highly astute might be aware that sure, there is increased risk of T-cell lymphoma within the GI tract in celiac disease, but the question's asking most likely, okay? So we don't want to get pulled into the nitpicky stuff. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, paniculitis, wrong fucking answer. So fancy word refers to inflammation of subcutaneous fat, refers to erythema nodosum. So obviously nonspecific can be seen in a number of autoimmune diseases such as sarcoidosis, but for GI-related stuff, Crohn's disease, for whatever reason, has a higher incidence of erythema nodosum. Wrong fucking answer. Choice E, pyoderma, for pyoderma gangrenosum. Wrong fucking answer. Okay, low yield, uh, fancy uh, diagnosis that can be seen, extra intestinal manifestation of ulcerative colitis, okay? So there's one question on one of the NBME exams where they just say, uh, dude has history of IBD, and they just say that there's a uh, an ulcer on the arm with necrotic debris. That's how they describe it. And the answer is literally just pyoderma gangrenosum. Everybody gets it right because it's just an obscurity uh, that people tend to uh, fixate on. They re retain better. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal to make more content like my stuff. Subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.